700 front end. I had to do changes at the back. Obviously I used the NC axle so I did make changes on the bearings inside and I have made bushes, uh, color coded them red, blue and white. This is all stock NC750. This is the transup disc. I might take it off and just clean it a bit more. Handbrake is working perfectly. It received a bash plate and I had to make changes on the top on the triple tree clamp. I had to add an extra set of risers unfortunately because it will not clear when you're turning the steering wheel with all the bits here. But it came out very nice. It really does look OEM. 100% OEM. Piping worked out nice. I had to extend the ABS system pipes. And then I cut the Trans Alp mud guard a bit at the back. Um, I do it on all of them, especially on the Africa Twins, the old ones. They, on the old Africa Twins, the problem is this piece usually will hook in and then take this mud guard and push it in on the front wheel. I still need to do brackets this morning. I'll sort them out. And it was a double disc. And I sacrificed a disc for the ABS system setup. Also again added uh, a washer on this side, a spacer. And if you have a look, I did a bit of work. I still need to paint that. There's a bit of fabrication still left to do. Engineering is every, everywhere is closed, so I can't get anything done. This needs to be tucked in. I did the one pipe there, but I'll sort this out this morning. Then that is done. It the DCT does not go into first go out of first gear if your tone ring isn't fitted. Now this tone ring has 60 holes. And on the rear, I wanted to use a spare one that I have, but it has only 50 holes. So I had to really just install and make a plan and get the ABS ring in of the standard NC. ABS light goes off, I have no problem. Uh, all sorted, done and dusted there. So I'm very happy with this. This is the 19 inch bolt versus the 21. I'll take it out this afternoon and see a bit how it performs on gravel um, and take it from there. But we kept the rear wheel stand at 17 and we just changed the front to a 19. I have no issues uh, braking or anything. On the brake pads, on the brake lines I had to make changes. <clears throat> if you have a look, I plumbed them in between on the triple tree clamp. I actually went through it because when you're turning sharp, I did not want to relocate the radiator. I wanted to keep that stationary. And on this side, we had a big uh, bracket that held the brake lines so I took that off and now it can turn fully and we have no issues I just as I said I tucked it away through the triple tree clamp and it's nice and neat and we'll be going for a ride and see what it does but uh, yeah we'll do a bit more detailed video but I just wanted to grab the opportunity and uh, do the two side to side because this uh, it will be collected and then I won't have access to it at the moment. And also it's just before Christmas and I'm flying out again to Geneva. But there we go. Both bolts, a bit different. Whatever the clients want, we bolt. Some have higher ground clearance, some not. It all depends on what you want. Cool. That will make actually a, a nice thumbnail, I think. Yeah, I'll quickly do that. Excellent.
Okay, we'll catch up later. Bye-bye, everybody.